Britain's Iraq inquiry was an intense act of national introspection. It was deliberate and comprehensive. But imagine a world of dissonance between peace and war, invader and the invaded, well-worn democracy and failing state. Because as professional civil servants toiled over their investigation here in quiet conference rooms in comfortable Britain, life has gone on and life has ended in Iraq. Saddam ruled us for 35 years, and he did horrible things to us. But now Iraqi people think we're better off with him, and that's because of our politicians. We didn't accept one thief, but now we have thousands. What Tony Blair did with his American coalition partners in Iraq was a grave mistake and a mark of shame on humanity and its results we are now witnessing on the ground in Iraq. These families who lost martyrs, children and women from all sects, why? What is our sin? Is it because we were born in Iraq? War has claimed hundreds of thousands of Iraqi lives since the invasion in 2003 and continues to do so. Iraqis were not waiting with bated breath for the Chilcot inquiry. They were still pulling the charred remains of their relatives from a shopping center in Baghdad, which was the largest single attack since that 2003 invasion. They were fleeing Fallujah, as much a hotbed of war now as it was a decade ago. And they were still living under ISIS control in Mosul, uncertain, like so many of their fellow Iraqis, what next month, next week, or the next hour might bring.